after her son was murdered in a 2022, a Baltimore mother decided to make sure other young people did not suffer the same fate. Yes, she created a nonprofit to change the course of their lives. WMER2 News, Janae Wright looked into what she's doing. And Janae, what can you tell us about this program? Well, Ebony McClenney had created a seven week program. Tonight was the third week. The topic, trauma and what it looks like and how to deal with it. Something McClemmy is all too familiar with. Dakari Baldwin was a victim of a triple shooting in Baltimore. After his death, his mother Ebony McClenney made it her mission to change the lives of other kids so they don't go down a bad path, something she says she wishes she did for her own son. My son, he was 17. He was shot and killed in Baltimore in 2022. So it led me to want to start a nonprofit that I work with youth and young adults in the city to just try to help them overcome adversities that they face on a daily basis. Well, that was that was a good way to handle it. She created Surviving Our Neighborhoods, or SUN, the purpose to shape the lives of young kids and help them cope with traumatic experiences they may have in life. Darren Rogers says adults need to realize how violence in the city is affecting the youth. He says most people have not experienced what the young people are dealing with today. They've never been in schools where, you know, guns are prevalent. They've never experienced the death of individuals on a consistent basis where um, it wasn't even even room to breathe. 13 year old Antonio Woods Jr. says he likes coming to these weekly sessions. He says he learned the importance of journaling and it has been helping him. Yes, because it like helped me write down what I'm like, how I'm feeling or saying what I'm doing or what I want to do better at. Brian Lee, who is 15 years old, says he's already seen a change in himself by being here. Bring me out my shell and then also just me expressing myself because emotions are held back and I think it's better to express yourself more than to hold it back. Hand in groups like this and sessions like this where you can open up and talk about it. Roger says most of the kids he sees in programs like this one want to better their lives and having this type of guidance is huge. I don't believe the hype that they all are tough or, you know, they consider themselves to be gangsters. I see that they're afraid, right? They're afraid and they're concerned for their safety. When I talked about my anxiety attack, you know, I didn't really tell nobody about it, but telling someone about it and then me calming myself down because some people don't know how to calm themselves down was a good, good thing for me. Ebony McClenney says she hopes she can heal the trauma these teens experience so they can live better lives. We encourage them and inspire them that, hey, you know, even though you see these adversities every day, you can survive, you know, you can survive your neighborhoods, you can push yourself. She says she's also proud of how far her nonprofit has come in one year. And the organization also provides therapy for trauma and PTSD free of charge to the youth and to their families. Now, if you'd like to know more, you can find out that you can find that information on our website, WMAR2news.com.